Multiple ploughs are the most effective soil inversion implement. With correct setup and with moist subsoil conditions, water repellent topsoil and associated weed seeds can be completely buried at depth. This will provide a wettable soil surface and a large reduction in weed emergence. Both infield studies and computer simulation modelling have been used to understand the impacts of implement setup on inversion effectiveness. Ensuring the plough is level in relation to the soil surface from front to back and side to side when operating at its working speed and depth is important. This will ensure the plough is inverting the soil at a consistent depth along its entire length. Use of attachments called skimmers will markedly improve topsoil burial. Skimmers are a small ploughshare which is positioned in front of each main mouldboard plough body. The skimmer moves the topmost layer of soil in front of the main mouldboard plough body into the open furrow. The main mouldboard body then turns the remainder of the soil slice on top of the topsoil layer deposited by the skimmers. Use of skimmers can reduce the amount of topsoil left at the surface by up to 50% compared to the same plough without skimmers. Skimmer depth should not exceed 50 millimetres and setting them deeper does not improve topsoil burial. Use of skimmers results in only a small, less than 4% increase in draft force. Several of the most critical aspects of plough usage are working depth and operating speed. The aim should be to achieve the most efficient balance between effectiveness of inversion and work rate. Increasing the depth of working and speed of operation too much will increase the horsepower requirement, fuel usage, wear rates on the tractor and plough, and the overall cost of the ploughing operation. For example, simulation modelling shows that increasing the speed of operation from 5 to 10 km an hour increases the draft force by nearly 20% at an operating depth of 300 mm. At the same time, the inversion efficiency declines with speed. Three times more of the surface 50 mm of topsoil remain in the surface 100 mm of soil at 10 km an hour than it did at 5 km an hour. An operating speed between 7 to 8 km an hour is often found to be a good balance between work rate, draft and inversion effectiveness. Similarly, depth of working can have an even greater impact on draft force. Increasing the operating depth from 200 mm to 300 mm at an operating speed of 7.5 km an hour can double the draft force. Working deeper in this case did improve the inversion of topsoil. However, going too deep and overloading the mouldboard plough boards, which can be seen when the plough is working and the soil is flowing over the top edge of the board, decreases inversion effectiveness as well as increasing draft and cost. Talking to experienced plough operators, following manufacturer recommendations and taking time to set up a plough and adjust for the soil conditions will ensure an effective amelioration outcome.